three, 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 two, one. Okay. Hello, everyone. This is Alpha One here, and welcome back to the Last War. Now, as I said in the last episode, I was going to uh, see the other ending to this game, and we're going to do the extras in this episode as well, if the other ending doesn't take as long. Because what I noticed is we never use the lynx's jaw, the giant black feather, and this poster. Like, that was it. These were the only three items that were never used in this episode. So, hopefully they'll become useful. So, let's, uh, let's figure this out, shall we? Alright. Uh, yeah, the man's next, standing next to the open curtain. That's Alexander. Hello there, Alexander. We've already seen all your dialogue. We looked for you, Kaufman and I. I'm truly sorry about your friend. Sometimes terrible fates befall the companions of travelers. The other world protects itself and conceals itself within a veil, and it reacts violently when the, that veil is disturbed. I knew you would reach us. He had doubted. He, he doubted Kaufman would make it, but he knew you would. He? The first founder of the Order. Artifacts, uh, Jeremiah of it. Truth can be hard to accept. Yeah, we already know, we've already seen all this, blah blah. It was Jeremiah the whole time! Jeremiah's life is if something else is wrong, he's gonna end all of this, but he wants to ruin our work. Go in before the curtain closes forever. Alright, let's go! Achievement unlocked, DeVitt's Faith. DeVitt's Fate. Once more, I found myself enshrouded in dense fog. Gradually, the fog dissipated, revealing a busy street in London. Wait, what? Dizzy and exhausted, I wandered the streets, until at last, I returned home. I barely recognized it, I crossed the dusty threshold, like an intruder. I noticed for the first time that I was holding the robe of the playwright in my hand. I kindled a fire and threw the robe into the flames. As I watched it burn, I remembered the black ocean. I had stood there on the beach, staring up at the terrifying heights of the vertiginous Mount Quaff, where the verb is said to lie. Then, someone touched my arm. It was Dr. Wakefield. Our encounter on the endless dunes. Oh, so, oh, you're through, through the eyes of, we're seeing us through the eyes of Devit now. Alright, so I can use my normal voice. Alright, sweet. Then someone touched my arm. It was Dr. Wakefield. Our encounter on the Endless Dunes had not been an illusion. In his quest to find me, he had ventured into the veil itself. He said nothing, but it was not necessary. He had come to take my place. To sacrifice himself. So in the other ending, Devitt sacrificed himself. In this ending, he has come to take Devitt's place. He stayed behind and closed the door after giving me the chance to escape. His reasons, I will never know. I do not know what happened to Alexander and the others, but I fear that 
they are trapped in Zaylathal for all time. I stared at the endless rain splattering against the window, and I remembered that I had something else to do. At la a last promise to keep. Videte nequisciat. What was that promise? I mean... That wasn't a bad ending either. Okay. Hold up. Hold up a minute. Okay, that wasn't really a bad ending either. Neither of them are a bad ending. It's just like, who choo who do you choose to get left behind? Or who do you choose to die? So, that was... So, that time we chose DeVitt gets to live. Despite, you know, leading or creating the four witnesses and the playwright. I mean, I prefer this ending, to be honest, because DeVitt... Like, he was a changed man after he got amnesia, so... And besides, like... Mr. Wakefield? He... at least he's with Kaufman, you know? At least he's not, you know... Empty inside, as, you know, one of the episodes said. After, uh, Kaufman died. So, you know, you're, you're with Kaufman now, so... Wakefield's in a better place. He's... he's living the dream. And DeVitt, well, he gets to live a normal life. However, Alexander and the rest of the people are trapped in Zaylathal. And so we kind of just, uh... Yeah, we just kind of just left them behind. They're stuck there. So, uh, yeah. It was their own funeral. But, you know... There's just one thing that bothers me. What was the purpose of the giant black feather? What was the purpose of the lynx's mouth? What was the purpose of the of picking up the poster? I like they they, they seem to have had no uses. And you know, back in the one extras uh, area in the season one, in the season one extras with the that doctor who is dissecting uh, that priest. What was his name again? Father Ernest. Yeah, we never did use one of those tools that he had, but then again, you know, maybe it was an optional tool to use. So, you could use that instead of the, 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 you know, other tool instead, if you, if you may, if you so please. But, that doesn't explain the black feather and the lynx jaw. Ooh. I don't know if I should shut up here. Stay quiet, just in case. Okay. That was it. I like. I feel like the black feather and the lynx jaw had to have had some use, if not the poster at all. They must have had some use somewhere in the game. Somewhere in that episode, they must have had some use. I just didn't find it, or I missed something. Maybe there's a secret ending to this game. I don't know, but you know what? I'm not going to look up a walkthrough to, or replay that entire episode just to find that secret ending. Like, I'm just gonna, like, I'm just gonna leave that up to you to decide. Like, you know, maybe you can watch someone else who looked up the secret ending. Or, you know, maybe you can get the game for yourself and, you know, uh, 
have fun trying to look through the game. Try to find the secrets uh, to those items. Maybe they actually do do something, or maybe they're just completely borderline useless. I have no idea, but as promised, I'm going to do the extras. So, the only extras is the mask with no eyes. The inner circle is gathered once again. The whole cycle has passed since the last playwright traveled to the land of fog of shadows and fog. Now the mask with no eyes has chosen a new bearer. The path between worlds will be visited once again. The veil and the veil upon human eyes shall be lifted forever. The playwright meets now. The custodian of the threshold. Oh, an ancient being guards the door of mist. May the playwright take its light and stand by its watch unnoticed. Okay. Four wisps, four wisps of fog shall reveal the truth. The astral flame shines within the dark forest. The pyre of Zephyrus glows in the dark ocean. The boreal embers brighten the dark si the dark sky. Um, okay. The fire of dawn scorches through the barren desert. The playwright will stand in the center. And the curtain will be drawn at last. And then its eyes were open. I missed that image. You can pause uh, if if you are really quick with your uh, achievement lock, the new bearer. All right, if you're really quick, you could pause it and see what that image was. Uh, the image looked familiar, but yeah, that's uh, the end of the last door. So. Credits. So now is the point where I give my soulful testimony, as I do with every other game I play, like uh, or in Blunt Forest and such. So my soulful testimony. This game was incredibly mysterious and cryptic. Like I enjoyed it. It was is definitely worth it. The puzzles in this game, uh, heavenly were. All these puzzles throughout season one and season two were heavily based on logic. Like you had to use logic in order to solve these puzzles. Uh, I didn't know what resin is, so I, you know I had to use the walkthrough a couple times because I got stuck. Uh, but I like how the final episode of season two required the use of illogical sense. Like nothing here is of this world. So you gotta think a bit differently about how you progress. So I, I like that. Like that added an interesting touch to the game. Uh, again, its art style is I'm a sucker for pixel art, and this pixelated style, this low res, it's it's a charming style and it 
currently it really does fit the mood, the old London feel. And I like the whole thought about the ancient evil. Now, my only complaints about this game was there are so many unanswered questions. Like, uh, Miss Conhey, like, she turned into, like, ashes somehow? And then, you know, uh, again, the giant feather and the lynx jaw never got to use those items. And, well, that en the ending, like, I don't really know which was a good ending or a bad ending. It doesn't really have to be a bad ending, but, you know, it was an ending nonetheless. Like, it's an ending I could live with. And, uh, you know, I'm, I pretty much, I pretty much thoroughly enjoyed it. Yes, this game is definitely, this game was definitely worth my time and money. And, uh, yeah. I gotta say, yes, this game is definitely worth it. And, whoa. Oh, yeah, okay, sorry. Uh, the menu is supposed to play this weird ambiance. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so, I guess this is the ending to the last door. Like, this is it. That's, it's the end of the line. Kind of sad to see the series go. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else to say to add to my, uh, soulful testimony to this game. But there's really not much else left to say. Like, Oh, wait, wait, one more thing. One more thing. Okay, I knew I was forgetting something. The whole fact that this game was community built, like the descriptions of some of the objects that you observe, they were made by random people in this community. Like, that is mind blowing. Like, never before have I seen a game that was community built. That is cool. Like, that... That just blows my mind altogether. Like... If I was... If I was a member of this community... Uh, at, you know, an earlier time... I probably could have written uh, my own description to some of the objects. Like, that statue called 30 Birds. I probably could have, you know, like, came up with a different title for it. Or something. Like, I... I could have, like, written an entirely different description for some of these objects. And, uh... Yeah. Also, uh, the, the stuff about the back menu breaking its title and the lens saying, like, uh, LOC dot lens or something like that. You know, you just, you just gotta... And, and the marble statue from episode 2. You just... I'd like to ignore the fact that the the identity of those items, like, broke. I'm just gonna ignore the fact. Like, if you just ignore that, this is, like, a perfect game. This is completely perfect in every way. And, uh... Well, that's all I have to say about, uh, The Last Door. Um... I guess that's my soulful testimony. Well, I'm done talking, so... Leave a like and enjoy. Subscribe, come part of the Outforce today. And, uh, I guess I'll see you in whatever else I do on this channel. Farewell, everyone. Bye.